Ooh. What's this? Look at that. Make sure there's no nothing underneath it. Nope. Wow. I don't know what this is. But it's pretty. Got a lot of quartz in it. Oh, are you getting all... You are just having a blast over here. What's over here anyways? Oh, my feet. I can't go much further, but I want to go down into this little area, flat area. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, God, that's a keeper. This is agate right here. Now, the jasper has been compressed to a harder substance and quartz has been injected into it. And this is what happens. You get these little patterns. They call it agate. I'm coming, boo-boo. I want to get down in there. I want to see what kind of tracks there are besides your tracks. Well, I see, well, no, I see some other little critter tracks. See all the little critter tracks? Something lives in there. Lots of little critter tracks. I see tail marks and feet, so it's probably a mouse. Lives in there somewhere. There a mousey in there, boo-boo? Yeah? This is kind of neat. Well, let's go up the channel a little bit. This would be a good area to metal detect in. And I'm seeing some good rock. I see, uh, I think this is serpentine. Um, the green. And where there's serpentine, there's gold. If there's green or red and a lot of quartz, there's possibly gold in the area. Oh, I wanted to keep this one here. All right. Oh, Salem Boo. You're so silly. He's rolling. Oh, he's rolling in mouse pee. He loves it. I don't know if that's what it is, but some kind of scent. It's some kind of rodent scent, and he loves rolling in it, and I assume it's piss in the mouse. Oh, wow. Look at these. Look at this one. That is really cool. Oh, boo boo. I gotta go see this. Look at him. He's just rolling around, having a blast. Are you totally digging on that, boo boo? Huh? I don't want to go over there because that's soil um, over in that direction. You're not supposed to camp. It's a private property. It's the soil and water district. And it's right away roads. So I can't be exploring over on that side. There's a bunch of signs posted. Oh, Lord. My feet are killing me. I gotta go back. Salem, we gotta go back. I can't, I can't walk anymore. I'm trying not to let my stupid disease stop me from enjoying life. Sometimes it's difficult. But it's the sacrifice I make in order to, to live like this. I have to put up with the pain and the misery and the physical disabilities, which, you know, I have very weak arms and hands. I've lost a lot of muscle and I lost a lot of weight. Last weight check was 134. 
As long as I'm above 128, I ain't worried about it. Once I get to 128, I'm going to start worrying about it. And I haven't been that thin since I left Sacramento. I think I got down to 115 in Sacramento. But that's when I was stupid and doing drugs. Hard drugs. I was doing crystal. Don't ever try it. If you're watching this and have ever wondered, don't ever. Don't ever do, do that. It's not worth it. Anyways, on to better subjects. I love rocks. I really do. They fascinate me. Here's the... Uh, Salem! Come on back over here! Come on, Bobo! Come on! Come over here! And now he's going to think he can hang out over there. I guess he could. Boo boo, come on. Let's go back over here, boo boo. I'm not gonna put you inside. I just wanna um want you over here. Come on, my scout, my protector, come on. Come on. Come on. Salem. Get your booty over here. Oh, watch, he'll come running when I turn my back. Anyways, uh, here is the wash. I finally made it over here. Oops, sorry, I keep getting distracted by the rocks. Here's the wash. It's a pretty steep one. You know, what's really interesting is there's all different kinds. Maybe this is a shale then. This is a... I'm not sure if this is... This is shale right here. That's shale. And you can find fossils in shale if you look carefully okay and then you come over here and you got like that serpentine stuff there's some more shale I'm looking for fossils not seeing any there he goes <gasps> look at him Yes! That's my runner. I'm coming, boo-boo. Yeah, he's, oh, he's not, not too happy because he's out of wet food. And I have a little bit of treats left for him. But he's going to run out of those in a day or two, too. So, yeah, all he's got is his dry food right now. But he's been a very good boy. He sticks right around this area back behind the bush. And I can see him. And yeah, we have our own little island here. It doesn't really protect us from anything, but it's kind of cool. So, that's my camp. I am going to go to the van build. That's on the 7th. I'm about 25 miles away from there. BLM doesn't care right now what I'm doing. I'm not in a I'm not in an area where there's a camp host. So they they're not tracking me right now. I think it's a little going to be a little cooler today. It's been in the 90s the last couple of days.
I'm tired. I'm really out of shape. And I'm just trying to bear with it. The, the heat's going to die down the next couple of days to the 80s, and then I'll be more comfortable. But we have to hide from the sun. So, in the meantime. But I've been able to do that. Uh, Salem and I have both been pretty comfortable. I can't complain too much. Especially with my feet being all messed up. I can't really do anything anyway. So, might as well just be patient and wait it out. I'm learning to live in the moment more. And that's really important when you be a nomad. You have to put your past and your future aside as much as you can. And then you can enjoy 